you guys, I hope you're all doing super well and you're all having amazing days no matter where you are. Okay, so I know I always say this, but I'm really, really excited to be finally uploading this video for you guys. So it's kind of a spring survival guide. I have a makeup look, a hair look, which by the way is not what I'm wearing in this intro because I had forgotten to film an intro. Anyways, I also have outfit ideas and I have a really exciting DIY for a spring kind of tote purse. It's really, really cute. And I just, I have a feeling that you guys are going to really enjoy this video. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I really, really hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys think of my new editing style because I have a bunch of new transitions and kind of title effects and it's kind of a different editing style overall and I'm really excited to share with you guys and to hear what you guys think and if you guys like it and if I should make more videos like this one, make sure to leave me a thumbs up down below. Anyways, I am going to go ahead and get started and I really hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so first up for my makeup, I'm using my Smashbox BB Cream and I'm just applying that all over my face. It isn't going to be as heavy as a foundation, but it does have SPF protection, which is really important during spring. And after that, I'm picking up my Tarte 24 Hour Blush and this is in the color Tipsy. It's a perfect corally shade for spring. Next up, I'm using my Naked Basics palette and I'm picking up the lightest shimmery shade on my finger and I'm applying that all over my lid and also to my inner corners. So after I was done blending my eyeshadow, I decided to add a nice pop of spring to my look and I'm picking up this Flower Beauty eyeshadow pencil and it's a nice teal color. I'm just applying that to my bottom lash line right across and I feel like this adds a nice pop of spring and it goes really well with the coral cheeks. So after that, I'm picking up my Josie Marin Highlighter Illuminator and I'm applying that with my fingers to the tops of my cheekbones to add some nice highlight to my look. So I finished off my look with a few coats of waterproof mascara to my top and bottom lashes just in case you wanted to you know, hit the beach. I felt like this look was pretty much waterproof so waterproof mascara was a definite must. So for my lips, I wanted them to match kind of the corally cheeks I had going on, so I used a Tarte Lip Surgeon's Pencil in the color Eternal. So I'm not sure if this even counts as a hair tutorial to be honest, because it's so simple. So I had these kind of second day waves going on and I wanted extra texture, so all I did was I added my favorite Bumble and Bumble dry shampoo and I kind of shook my hair up to get that beachy, wavy texture if that makes sense, and that's basically all I did. So for this super cute DIY tote bag, you're gonna need some painter's tape, some gold spray paint, some black matte acrylic paint, some sponges or items to paint with, and of course, a plain white tote bag. You're also gonna need some scraps from magazines or newspapers to protect everything around you. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm setting it flat on some cardboard so I don't get paint everywhere. And then I'm taping some magazine scraps to the upper kind of two thirds of my bag leaving the bottom third exposed and that's what we're gonna spray paint with our gold spray paint so just go crazy make sure you get every single spot and then i realized that the paint was getting everywhere so make sure you cover every single part of your bag that you don't want painted gold so i also painted the bottom just make sure you get every single spot after you've gotten one side done just turn it around and repeat the same steps on the other side just tape down and protect the top two-thirds of the bag from the paint and make sure the bottom third is completely gold. So after you've spray painted both sides, you're gonna wait about three minutes for the paint to be semi-dry and then you're gonna slowly peel off the tape and the magazine scraps to reveal your gorgeous tote bag, but we're not done just yet. You're gonna line the inside with an old magazine just to prevent the black from bleeding through to the other side. And then I'm using the handle on this foam brush thing because I felt like it was a perfect stamp for the circle size that I wanted to have. And my technique here was to basically just stamp the dots about one inch away from each other. And then for the second row, I did the same thing, except I kind of alternated where the dots were placed. So I placed them right underneath the blank spaces in between those dots on the first row. So then I just alternated between the two techniques until I had reached the very bottom of the white part of my bag.
So once you're done, if your circles don't look absolutely perfect, and mine didn't by the way, you can go back in with a sponge and kind of fill in those strange blank spaces. But once you've done that, you can remove your magazine, let it dry, and you're basically done. So this first outfit idea actually has a few of my spring favorites. One, my linen shirt is from Marshalls, and then a bunch of gold accessories. So my bracelets are Alex and Annie, my rings are from Pandora, and then my sandals are actually from a local boutique. For my second outfit, this one is actually my favorite. My shorts are from Marshalls, and then my crop top and my jean jacket are both by Brandy Melville. And then the boots that I'm wearing, I actually got at Paxson a really long time ago, and they're by the brand Roxy. Then I added a really simple necklace that I got at a local boutique, and the rest of my accessories are all the same. My last outfit idea I actually wore while I was doing one of my favorite things to do during spring and that's getting smoothies. So this overall set is from Brandy Melville and I got it PacSun. And then the crop top I'm wearing is also from Brandy Melville and my shoes are by Vans. to my essentials, of course I'm carrying them in my new tote bag. So my first essential for spring is definitely sunglasses. I feel like we've been inside for so long, it's definitely time to get out and get some sun. My next essential is white nail polish. Even though my nails aren't even white at the moment, I have been loving white nail polish for spring. Pretty much white nail polish all year, but something about it just reminds me of spring and summer. Next up in my spring essentials is definitely a scarf because even though it's kind of warm enough to wear skirts and shorts and all that fun stuff, sometimes it does get chilly so it's cool to have something that will keep you warm and also double as a cool accessory. Plus. Scarves also make great blankets, so I always keep a scarf with me during spring. My last spring essential is definitely something that I've been using every day and I have been so obsessed with. It's my Tory Burch perfume. I just love the smell of this. It reminds me of spring and summer and sunshine and happiness. And every time I smell it, it makes me just so happy. So that was my completed video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to let me know in the comments below if you like this new editing style and if I should make more videos like this one. Also let me know by leaving me a thumbs up. Also, I have a really exciting kind of addition to the video that I wanted to include for you guys because I'm always super happy and super thankful for all the support that you guys give me. So I wanted to kind of give back to you guys and send you the tote bag that I made with a few of my favorite goodies inside to one of you. So yes, this is kind of a little secret surprise giveaway. So if you guys are interested in entering, all you have to do is let me know in the comments down below how you found my channel. That's all you have to do. And I'm gonna pick one of you guys at random from the comments. So if you're interested in winning my tote bag with a few of my favorites, go ahead and do that. I think that's everything I have to say for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I love you so, so much. I really do. I send a million kisses your way. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.